Uh, more breaking news, uh, this time on an FBI police operation going on right now on the east side of Detroit. The feds are searching for two missing people on Detroit's east side. Let's go to 7 Action News reporter Shelly Childers, who's live there with the latest. Keenan, Detroit police tell us these are for two missing persons cases that are separate, but both from 2016. So here's a live look at what's happening behind us. This is Dickerson between Canfield and Wavery on Detroit's east side. Neighbors tell us they first noticed something was off when police arrived and backed a garbage truck onto a vacant lot in the middle of the street. So here's that video of what's happening on that lot right now. Police tell us it's very overgrown. They've begun the process to search for these two bodies by first clearing out the land. Their next step will be to bring in the cadaver dogs. There is a large law enforcement presence out here. The entire block of Dickerson is closed, like I said, between Canfield and Wavery. We know that FBI and MSP are also out here assisting the Detroit Police Department with this search. Please say again, both of these cases are from 2016. They tell us they got the tip to search this property from a woman who is very close to one of those cases. They would not say how they learned a second body may also be here. Now we just spoke with a neighbor who's been watching the action from his backyard and here's what he had to say. I know I heard the constant garbage truck running there. I happened to look out my back balcony and see the police badges and they were hauling away debris, tires, a fence. And I saw the green ATV that they use when they're searching for, you know, if they're searching in the woods, wooded areas, I see that back there. So police again have a large presence out here, a lot of equipment out here to help them get through this overgrown lot. The property itself, we're told, does not have a home on it. That neighbor, Michael Tarleton, tells us that home was demolished several years ago, and it's currently owned, police say, by the Land Bank Authority. So it's not owned by an individual property owner, and they did get permission to get onto this lot to search for these two bodies. They won't give us any other details about these two missing persons cases, only to say that they're totally independent of each other, but they got a tip that both may be on this property. We'll continue to follow this developing story. Reporting live from Detroit's east side, Shelley Childers, 7 Action News.